Hey guys, it's Booty Week Day 1. Let's get started. Starting off with Day 1 being body weight only. Literally all you need for this workout is a couch, a coffee table, a bench, a chair, anything that is stable enough that you can balance off of. And this workout is literally for my beginners all the way to my advanced lifters. This is an amazing glute pumper, glute burner. It's just a great solid glute workout. For the first exercise, this is a shoulder and feet elevated glute hip thrust. The point of the elevation is that you're getting a longer range of motion. So that is why I opted for a taller bench compared to the boxes I have stacked up underneath my shoulders. And when performing this movement, you wanna make sure that you have just as much control coming down in the movement as you would coming up. I know when you come up, it's easier to concentrate on control because you're worrying about getting that tight squeeze at the top and that kind of like mini second pause at the top to really have that solid lockout. However, you wanna make sure that you're controlling your body weight down just as equally. Next is going to be the same exercise, except for we are doing them single leg. Now, another thing I wanted to point out about this movement is that where you place your foot on whatever you are balancing off of is going to be personal preference and what helps you get the best contact in your glutes. Sometimes different foot placement can make you feel it more in your quad or your hamstring or your glutes. So just kind of mess around. I like to keep my foot right on the edge, right in the center of my foot. Some people like to keep just their toe on the edge and then some people like to keep their actual whole heel on the top surface of whatever they're balancing off of. So just mess around and find what foot placement works best for you. This is going to be incline frog pumps, one of my personal favorites, and these are definitely going to be more high rep. This exercise just responds really well to higher reps and just pumping them out, making sure you get a solid squeeze at the top of the movement. exercise is quickly becoming one of my new favorites. I've been incorporating this exercise a lot lately into my training and these are side lying clam raises. So how you're going to do this exercise is that you're going to lay on whichever side you want to start on first and you really want to make sure the key point is to have your hips flexed forward and you're going to do that by making sure that when your knees are bent that they are in front of you. As you can kind of see my knees are angled in front of me. They're not in a straight line with my body like you would in a standard side lying hip raise they are angled in front then when I'm coming up I'm lifting up both hips at the same time still keeping that top leg in line with my bottom leg I'm just making sure to bring it out to also get that abduction in the top glute as well as the bottom and you want to make sure that you are doing 12 reps on each side is a staple that I always include in all of my body weight glute workouts and these are donkey kicks into fire hydrants so you're going to be doing 10 reps of donkey kicks and then get into 10 reps of fire hydrants and then move to the other leg and repeat the same thing. This is going to be some below parallel squats. I just called them deep squats, below parallel squats, as to grass squats, whatever you want to call them. But basically, you just want to try to get as low as you possibly can with good form. Just aim for below parallel. And the reason I say to do deep squats is because we are emphasizing the portion of a squat where your glutes are worked the greatest. Chase that chick. 
check, yes. Cause I done seen a time go by for too many years now when the stars were aligned. Cause I done seen a time go by. Yeah, I done seen a time. to elaborate on those deep squats we just did you're going to get into a sumo squat stance get as low as you can and pulse out 15 reps to really keep our glutes under tension as long as possible i love this exercise but i hate this exercise because of how much it burns but it is a great exercise especially to incorporate after doing something like deep squats i find works really well and it's very complementary to it and you're going to get into some reverse hypers. For all these exercises, I suggest anywhere from 30 to 90 seconds rest in between each set and then just get through the workout as best as you can. I will see you guys tomorrow for day two. So until then, bye guys.